Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how I make this easy, delicious magnolia chicken. Y'all heard of magnolia beef, but I'm going to be making some magnolia chicken, okay? So to my washed and clean chicken breasts, I'm going to be using Spicy Girl. And why am I using Spicy Girl? Because Spicy Girl is super low in sodium. Uh, this dish has a sauce that has soy sauce base this is a soy sauce base so you don't want to over salt your food so make sure you use something that's low in sodium or salt free so to my chicken i also added some cornstarch and some sesame oil and you want to mix that up and allow it to marinate to the side while i'm about to show you guys the rest of the ingredients i have brown sugar i have sambal i have you know more cornstarch sesame oil reduced sodium low sodium or reduced sodium soy sauce make sure you guys read your soy sauce don't come in my comments saying your food was salty okay <laughs> you need lots and lots of scallions the green parts you need about a couple tablespoons of ginger the pepper uh bell pepper is optional but i'm choosing to use it i don't even think that belongs in the dish but i wanted some bell pepper and some garlic all right, so to make the sauce, you want to put the brown sugar, the sambal, the garlic, the sesame oil, the soy sauce down into a bowl. And we're going to mix this up really, really well, as well as some water and some cornstarch. The ginger and the peppers, we're going to saute separately. And so that's why I did it that way. Make sure you add your water. Don't leave that out. It's not optional. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so now you want to mix this up really, really well, like mix it, mix, mix, mix on until everything dissolves, especially the cornstarch and the brown sugar. And once you mix this up like this, you want to set it to the side. And then I'm going to start working on the chicken. This dish was so good, y'all. But now I'm going to start searing my chicken in some oil on high heat because you really want to get a crust on the chicken. You don't want to burn it. You don't have to cook it all the way. But you want to get a nice crust like I do right here. And I'm going to flip them all over and then remove them from the skillet. Alright, so I got rid of the oil and now I added two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add my ginger and my peppers. Now the ginger is totally up to you and what you can tolerate. I feel I feel like it needed it to, you know, lift the dish a bit. So I use I used quite a bit of it. It was about two, two and a half tablespoons of fresh ginger. So once you saute that down for about three minutes, then you're gonna add the whole entire sauce to the skillet. Once it thickens, then you're going to add your chicken down in here like this. <laughs> it's so easy and simple, you guys. Also, you're going to add the scallions. Everything goes like the last, like, I don't know, 60 seconds to a minute and a half of cooking. You don't want to overcook the chicken and you don't want to overcook the scallions. But look how amazing this looks. Oh, oh my goodness. But anyway. Let's get to the tea. <laughs> All right, so to plate this up, I'm gonna add my white rice. I cooked some white rice with no seasoning. There's no seasoning on this rice whatsoever. All it is is rice, water, and butter. <laughs> That's it, no seasoning. Um, again, you know, this dish, you wanna be careful, like I said, don't add salt to your chicken and do not over season on, or salt your rice. So that's how I did it to balance everything out. Um, again, the chicken is not over salted, but at the same time, soy sauce is in here. So you wanna be careful, like I said. So this is what it looks like. It's perfect, it's delicious. The chicken is tender, the sauce is just so good. And it comes together really, really fast. So you can't mess it up whatsoever. You can't. Lord child. I just be waiting. Every time I drop a video, I just be waiting for y'all to come in the comments getting on my nerves. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all for y'all support. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.